Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Friday the 13th. So since it's Friday the 13th, I've decided I deserve a glass of wine. What time of day is it? 3.30. This has been a rough day, you guys. <laughs> we just came back from the other house. And I'm exhausted. I'll tell you why in a minute. But when I was unpacking everything from the other house there was a bottle of this wine and I put it in the refrigerator when I opened the refrigerator I found that there was another bottle of this wine both of them opened <laughs> my husband's doctor who's the same as my doctor told him that red wine was good for him so he keeps buying this wine but then he never drinks it and so who ends up drinking it <laughs> but very slowly nothing puts a belly on you faster than alcohol does at least in my house. <laughs> so anyway. You guys know I bought a desk when I retired. I bought a desk and I put it here in the study where Jerry's desk is. Jerry's desk is built into the wall. My desk is just on the other side of the room. Well, now that he's retired and I'm retired, I'm working in there more. Um, I've got more to do now. And um, I just had this little bitty old secretary card on these little wheels, this big wheel. <laughs> and it was rickety and wobbly. And it had my computer and my keyboard on it. And I was just afraid the whole thing was going to fall over every time I put a piece of paper on it. So, before we left to go to our other house, because I had a doctor appointment again, and Jerry had to meet with our new CPA. So before we left, I told Jerry, I said, I need to order something more substantial than this rickety little table. So we ordered this little credenza. I guess it's a credenza. It's just a little desk, and it's got drawers on one side, and the rest of it's just open. So we ordered that. So guess when it decided to come? Guess when? <laughs> of all times. It was going to be here between December 11 and December 19. Okay? How many days is that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nine day period it was going to be here between. It came today to the exact second that we were coming into our driveway. Great big huge yellow truck said Estes on the back, semi truck and us right behind him for the last like mile coming into our we kept saying that's it that's it that's that truck that's that desk sure enough it was so that's when the hard part started of our day <sighs> the semi guy called us on our phone we said hey we're right behind you he said i can't get in your driveway I won't be able to turn around so he just stops in the middle of the street the middle of the street <laughs> And so then we turned off the street, or we would have blocked the whole street, and then he opened the back of his semi-truck, you know, the little thing goes down, 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 then it unfolds, 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 and then he has a dolly and he brings this great thing out. Well, we happened to be pulling a trailer, because I told you guys, another reason we went up there was Jerry wanted to get his cabinets from way back, our very first pharmacy, way, way, way back. <laughs> Let me see, we were 30 then. We're 70 now, 40 years ago. We built our first pharmacy. Jerry ordered all these cabinets and put the cabinets in his pharmacy and then put the countertops on top of them. Well, then when we got the building to be a medical equipment building, we moved those cabinets into the shop there because we bought the new building and sold the old building. Okay, so we took the, the cabinets with us. So now Jerry wanted those cabinets for his barn here. So, we just happened to have a trailer because he had all those cabinets on it, okay? So, the man in the semi-truck, I'm going, Oh my God, he's got to come down to our house. How will we get it? How will we unload it? It's going to be heavy. Tell him to come down our road. And He said, No, no, I can't come down your road. I can't turn around. Well, semi-trucks come down here all the time. The garbage truck comes down here all the time. Anyway, he refused to come down here. So, the big yellow truck guy said, Well, I'll just get the box out and I'll put it in the back of that trailer. So, he stuck the great big box on its side in the back of Jerry's trailer behind all the cabinets. So then we live in the woods and you have to drive down this rock road that Jerry built. 
and then our driveway starts. And our driveway is another rock road. And it goes down, 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 down. <laughs> Hill. So Jerry decided that the desk wasn't in the trailer correctly to go down the hill. So we had to stop. We had to get out. We had to rearrange the box. Then we had to come down the hill. I am not kidding you. We got home at 11 o'clock this morning. It's 3.30 right now. I just finished helping him with the desk about 30 minutes ago, and he is still in there working on getting that desk in. I had a, a broken piece of wood on the side, had a bent leg on the side, had a scratch here, scratch there. You know, it's always something. And the thing about it is, if you take that sucker out of the box, and you call them up and you say, Hello, there's damage on my desk. Well, then they'll say, Okay, we'll send you a new desk, and then we'll pick that one up. You need to repack it. How on earth? Are we going to repack that desk? We could barely unpack the desk. We cut it and cut it and cut it and cut the cardboard box. It's in 5,000 pieces. The cats are playing with it in the front yard. <laughs> so anyway, I decided there's two bottles of wine in the fridge and they're both open. I think I'll go get one and make a video <laughs> because my videos make me happy. <laughs> Because I know that all of you are watching me and I'm talking to you right now and I bet instead of coffee you're going to go grab a glass of wine too. <laughs> and is it against my religion to drink wine? No. Jesus' first miracle was turning the water into wine. So, and no it wasn't grape juice. Mm. Okay, so, while I was gone, this big box came. And you know Terry lives down the street from me. And I knew this big box was coming. But I forgot what was in it, of course. I always forget what I order. But I asked her, please put the box in my kitchen. So when I came in today, this big box from... Who is it from? Y'all tell me. I know you know. <laughs> of course. Fabric, Mark Fabric. <laughs> so, I've just cut this cardboard box open it usually it's just in a big plastic bag but there's so much in this it's in a big cardboard box and I'm kind of not real happy with the way Fabric Mart, Fa Fabric Mart packed this because they just like throw it all in the box and seal the box and there's not, no bags around it there's no protector around it so you have to be super super careful when you cut it open or you will cut the fabric What wine are you drinking? It's called black, but it's red. <laughs> it is. It's Cheapo Cheapo from Walmart. It's Stella Rosa Black. My granddaughter told me about it. Love it. Okay. You want to see my fabric? Of course you do. Here's number one. I haven't looked at it, you guys. This is it. I'm in my bedroom because I my bedroom's next to the laundry room and it's going from here to the washing machine. Okay. This is... Cerulean. Cerulean. I don't know if it's an animal or a color. Black, celery, pale blue, polyester lycra, overlapping ferns print. I do you I knit. Ta-da! How about all those colors? Aren't they pretty? <laughs> By the way, you see the color on my walls in here? It's fixing to change. I'm fixing to paint my bedroom blue. I'm into blue. I want my bedroom to be blue. I'm tired of looking at pink. Okay, here's a pretty yellow. I've decided I like soft yellow. This stuff must have been 65% off or I wouldn't even have bought it. You know, Fabric Mart Fabric has the best sales. They had 70% off designer fabrics today. Viv told me. I said, you know what? I better just forget Viv told me that. I'm looking for the label. They always put a label, a sticky label. And I always pull the labels off and stick them on a piece of paper. But this one doesn't seem to have one. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. Ta-da! This is Pastel Yellow Polyester Lycra ITY. 60 inches wide. And I better slap this back on here. Did I pull the other one off or leave it on? I'm not sure. Anyway, I didn't bring a piece of paper in, so I'm going to leave it on. There's a bunch of fabric. Are you guys bored yet? <laughs> There's a bunch of fabric. And I'm feeling better and better every sip. <laughs> mm. Sometimes you just got to have a glass of wine. All right. Here's a beautiful pink. 
This is gorgeous. This is called Deep Ruby Pink Polyester Lycra ITY 58 Wide. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. These, why did I buy these? Why did I buy these? Number one, because I can. <laughs> Number two, because I'm building my stash. Because I want to have like my own little fabric store. So that's what I'm doing. And these fabrics are so, so, so reasonably priced. Okay, here's a print, sort of. What's this one? This is animal print of some kind. This is really wild for me, you guys. Oh, it's got a border on it. I bet I liked it because it has a border. See the border? This is pretty. Burnt orange, tawny brown, black, white, multi-polyester lycra double border. Double border. Oh. Okay, so there's one border. And then if you just look at the other side, there's another border. So they're basically the same border. They're just on opposite ends. So that'll be fun to play with, won't it? I just love these stretchy fabrics and they're so, so soft. I think I thought this was going to be a small print. <laughs> it's like the world's biggest print. And it's got a border on each side. I have no idea what I will do with that. Give me some suggestions. Give me some suggestions. A giveaway, maybe? <laughs> it is pretty colors. Well, I'm thinking this is little bitty trapezoid boxes or whatever that shape is, and they're huge. Huge, huge, as big as my head. But it's pretty. This is a cotton, no stretch. It's a cotton, and it's really pretty. Okay, what's next? A black and white. You know I've got to have a black and white. You know, January's coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, Viv and I are going to get together after Christmas and figure out what our next big challenge with prizes is going to be. This is a cotton, no stretch. Very nice. Very nice. Black, white, 100% cotton daisies and AMP. AMP? What's AMP? Zebra print. AMP. Zebra print. Well, I don't know what that means. If y'all know what AMP, AMP means, let me know. But that's pretty, isn't it? Blouses, blouses, blouses. Coming up. Okay. Steel blue. Carolina blue ash. Carolina blue? What's Carolina blue? Is that different than Oklahoma blue? Ash gray, deep sage, parchment, 100% cotton. 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 This was more expensive than the others. So, I don't know. I don't know if I look good in that. I'll have to look at the video and see. Looks like I might. Medium sea green polyester lycra ITY. I don't know. That's just, that's just, I don't know. It's really not much of a green. It's really, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Now the next one. It's bright. I like bright colors. This one is a super bright purpley something or other. Vivid. Yeah, it's vivid all right. Vivid Violet Polyester Lycra ITY 60 wide. Look at that. Now that is pretty. That is fun. I like that. I like that a lot. And I love any of these that, that drape. You know, I like those drapey cow necks. And the drapier the better for those cow neck patterns. I just bought another one from, um, I started to say Ace Hardware, <laughs> right, Joy, uh, Style Arc. I just bought another drapey um, pattern from Style Arc. We'll see how that one turns out. All right. I'm throwing them on my carpet. I'm going to take them from my carpet, remove the labels, stick them in a piece of paper, put them in my fabric, my fabric file, and all of this is going to be laundered and then hauled upstairs. It must have been extremely on sale that day. Black polyester lycra crepe scuba net. 60 wide famous dress designer. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. How much did I get? Two yards. I bet there's more than two yards. Fabric Mart fabric always gives you more. <gasps> oh, it's lovely. It's thicker. It's thicker and it's lovely. I'm going to make some pants out of this. All right, let's measure. I paid for two. There's one. 
there's two, and there's three. So I've got three yards. I paid for two. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I highly recommend this piece of fabric if you guys want to get some. It's always on sale. Every time you turn around, it's on sale. I don't usually order scuba because I never am sure what scuba is. I always think it's like for those fishermen that dive under the boats with all those black things and that air hose on their face, you know, like scuba divers. So, but if this is what scuba is, it stretches only one way and it's really, um, it has good return. It just bounces right back where it was. Recovery. I think that's called recovery in the stretch. All right, we're going to have to start a new pile. What's this one? You know, I think they get near the end of the bolt, and they just reel the rest of it off. <laughs> Navy cotton spandex jersey knit. One. Two. Again, three yards. I paid for two. I love you, Fabric Mart Fabrics. <sighs> I wish I'd known about Fabric Mart Fabrics when my little girl was growing up and I was young. And I was by myself for five years raising a little girl and I loved, 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 loved to sew. But I had little, 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 little money to do it with. Uh, this is darling. This is darling. It's a border, obviously. And it's a border on just one side. So how cute can this be? Oh my gosh. Oh, but something's wrong with it. Uh-oh. Something's wrong with it. Maybe this is what's called a panel. Because look at that stripe right down the middle of it. This must be called a panel. Yeah, because there's a stripe on the cut end too. So this is a panel and I got two panels. But that is darling. Can you see it? I can't see here. Hello. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Okay, now here's another bag inside the box. And this is the end of it. I don't know why. Ooh. I know what it is. It was one of those days when everything was on sale. Plus, if you spent so much money, I don't remember how much you had to spend, but it wasn't very much, maybe $75, you got some free a fabric bundle. And I don't think I like anything in here except this one with the sequins. And I don't wear sequins. Oh my. This is going to be a giveaway. I promise you. <laughs> I don't wear sequins. They itch me. I don't want to sew them. I don't want to wear them. I don't really like that. But somebody else who likes sequins would love it. Let me see if there's anything in here I like in this free bundle. This is green. This is a cotton. I don't think they put labels on these. This is one and three-fourths yard of a green cotton. This is really, really stiff sequins. I'm pretty sure this is stuff nobody wants, and so they give it away. This matches that green and goes with it so it could be an outfit but I think I'll do a giveaway on it and they don't put labels on these so I'm not really thrilled with either one of those now here's a black one hopefully it's not wool because wool's very very itchy they should tell you if it's wool because you can't wash wool right one and a half yard of black itchy stuff I am pretty sure this is a wool because I can't wear wool <laughs> It's just, it's itchy. Itchy. So, I don't know. That whole bag of fabrics, I will go to Goodwill. Unless some of you lovely people out there would like me to send it to you. Okay? So that's it. So it's Friday the 13th. What are y'all doing on Friday the 13th? What's this, what's this superstition about Friday the 13th? Anyway, I don't even remember what it is. Something bad supposed to happen to you? <laughs> Oh, I'm not going for that. Because my God is a good God. All right, everybody. That's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my new fabric. Except for what was in that bag. And I definitely will be giving that away if anybody wants it. <laughs> so, 
I'll let you go for now. And remember, I'm in su super slow internet land again. So it will probably take five or six hours to upload this video. And um, I won't start it until we go to bed tonight. Because at night when people are asleep, for some reason that wool. Mm, how do y'all wear it? How do y'all wear it? <laughs> for some reason, um, I guess if a lot of people are on the internet, it slows it down for some reason. And if a few people are in the internet, it's a lot faster. I don't know what the difference is. I just know that it seems to work faster in the middle of the night. Okay? So, I'm going to let you go. i got to get back upstairs. I haven't been up there yet since I got back home. I've got gifts to make. I've got quilt box to make. And I've got paperwork to do. And I'll be back talking to you guys soon. Bye for now.